Bonjour mes amis, hi guys, collection review for JJ, a guitar dealer in LA and you know long before watches I was collecting guitars I had the chance to live in uh, Tokyo where you can find any guitar you want whether it's uh, modern, vintage, reissues, everything is there and when I found uh, the one that are uh, for me that ticked all the boxes it kind of cured me and also at the same time I got tired of all the same old discussions on the what on the guitar forums and uh, I kind of feel uh, the same is going to happen with, with watches when I see all those shenanigans on YouTube. At the end of the day, what's really interesting is uh, channels like uh, the Swiss Watch Gang, for example, which really show you interesting watches in, uh, in the minutest of uh, details. Anyway, back to uh, JJ's uh, mini collection here. He, had a, he went through all the Oris, Longines, Hamilton and all that and he sold them all just to keep a couple of, a couple of beaters and Orient and a, and a Casio and most importantly the, the one watch that uh, he really likes and that uh, the brand he respects uh, the Tudor Black Bay 58 and it's probably the watch that I have worn myself the most in the in the past year year or two I just absolutely love it it's so beautiful with that little bevel it's so usable, fits so great on the wrist at 39 millimeters. Really, uh, you, you can't fold this watch. And if I was to advise anyone to buy just one watch under 4,000 US, that would be the one. Now, uh, JJ is interested in getting uh, a Rolex, uh, in particular a uh, Rolex Submariner. He went to all the authorized dealers. And apart from one, they all gave him the, the cold shoulder. And, uh, and one, uh, one of them wants to, to help but doesn't seem to, to get any. And he's asking my advice. Is it worth paying a premium? Is it, uh, is, it, uh, is it too late? Has he missed the train? Or should he pay the premium because it could get uh, worse? So interesting questions. I uh, question I suppose that uh, many of us are asking themselves. Well, not, not me because I, have, uh, I was lucky enough to get a sea dweller. 4,000 uh, early on in my collecting journey there. So I don't have uh, really that, uh, that issue anymore. Honestly, what is the Black Bay 58 but a Submariner? It's a classic Submariner from the late 50s basically uh, with a modern build and, uh, and just a cool look uh, as a Tudor is um, he's so good at, at doing. So would you even get more from a Submariner? Uh, as I said, it's so usable, this Black Bay 58. It's guilt-free. You can put a lot of scratches, a lot of life in into it. While the Sub is such a nice watch, such an expensive watch, uh, you're going to feel like you baby it. And, um, and the sad thing is not even special because <laughs> it's basically the watch by default. So many people have it. Uh, and for you, it's going to be so special at home. And then when you're outside, uh, sometimes you might not feel uh, very special to have one and sometimes you might feel like it's too, too precious to, to wear, you're going to worry about it. So maybe it's not such a good idea to, to even consider buying the, the Submariner. But I do respect it if it's your, your dream to, to have that. After all, I wanted to have a Sub or a Sea Dweller and I, and I got one and uh, it's probably my best watch because it does, it does everything. But again, the Black Bay 58 does pretty much the same things, except the, the date, if it's the date that your version that you're after. Is it worth paying the premium? No, I think it's uh, it's, it's really silly. Uh, I can't wait for a big credit, credit default in China or in the US to uh, make the market tank and the f everything to come back to to normal. That's the same that happened uh, after the collapse of, uh, of Lehman watches were trading high and then the, um, the premiums collapsed afterwards. Right now there's just too much free money around. People with too much uh, money that they could, can't spend on, uh, on holidays. 
and there's also all the hype from the the internet there's so many new dealer wannabes and flippers it's just it's just craziness i, I think just uh enjoy the black b58 it's such a good watch the AD, if the ad calls you great if he doesn't uh you know forget about it it's not uh, the end all to to have that right now i'm sure you have you know when you consider all the great watches you can buy for all the great guitars sorry you can buy for the price of a submariner it's a bit crazy you can get any custom shop from almost from the gibson custom shop or you can get uh, two custom shops from uh, from fender you can get a vintage uh, gibson jr or even maybe a special i mean so many uh, great guitars and guitars you know they you pick up a guitar you can write a hit you can write a great riff and you escape from everything while the watches seem to be more and more worry for everybody and they're bloody expensive things and after you get your submariner you'll want something else now but just to be complete on this uh, on this collection i'd like to offer a couple of suggestions you work into guitars you know there's magnetic fields uh, around the speakers around the, the microphones or of the guitars consider either the milgauss but it's very polished easily scratched up uh, or i think one thing very nice to complement your tudor w would be the the air king ask your ad if you can maybe try to get you one maybe you have a better chance at getting that watch i can't imagine that everybody suddenly wants the air king you know it's crazy and that's one that has a good chance to be discontinued so could get really valuable so if you can get that one at DAD that would be a really really cool complement something very different bit of a it's basically the pilot's watch of Rolex and a watch that may evolve in a very different direction in their next iteration of it the hacking can be pretty much anything Rolex wants it to be other things you could uh, look at is of course it's a it's a Speedmaster classic of classics it's so good so usable so beautiful and would be a nice compliment also something i did i added a uh, tudor uh, tiger so the um, uh, tudor prince date 79280 you can also look at the 79270 or the 170 the one before that which has a rotating gmt bezel so it's nice because you can add that extra complication they're rising up in price, but still not crazy. It's still around the price of a, of a Tudor. So yeah, Tudor Prince date, uh, 79280, 79270. I like those ones because they have the rounded cases and you have the looks of the, the Daytona. And you have lots of different dials. I think those are very playful, easy to service, uh, value movement. It's also very accurate, very steady. Uh, do not under, underestimate uh, th those movements. I think that could be quite playful, quite because you're a cool guy. You're into guitars. I don't know if the Submariner is really going to do something for you. I think the cool watch to get from Rolex is probably the Air King. Next would be the the, the Milgauss. They're a bit thick, so be careful. Uh, try it on first, see if it's for you. And uh, but then yeah, a, a Speedy. I would get the previous version with the. Uh, the bigger bracelet personally you know it's very mechanical it doesn't have all the fancy wancy meta certification stuff you know those watches actually have a problem uh, with w with the movement and they are getting uh, not recalled but uh, they are replacing a part of the movement because uh, the chronograph is getting stuck uh, with the 3861 movement so i prefer the previous previous one it's pretty much bulletproof and then consider the Tudor Prince uh, date chronograph, the, the Tiger one or one of the non-Tiger ones. Those are very cool. All right, JJ, uh, hopefully this is useful to you guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. Is it worth waiting for, for a sub or should you just move on with your life and maybe uh, have something less to worry about? Guitars are much more cool than watches. Bye-bye, guys.